Hi, my name is Sparkle. I work with Amplify GA. Uh, we are a collaborative of non-reproductive justice orgs throughout the state of Georgia. And today we're talking about our Fake Clinic Suck campaign. So who do we have here with us? My name is Sylvester Pierce. Okay, hey, nice to meet you, Sylvester. So what do you know about Fake Clinic so far? I know that they exist. Um, I did not know that they existed for a long time and uh, started hearing rumors about them. There was a piece on NPR about them as well. That was it. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know about fake clinics, but fake clinics are anti-abortion centers that are meant to kind of lead pregnant women astray um, about the choices they want to make. So they're not really giving them the full scope of all the options that they have. What kind of deceptive practices do you think they might be using? Um, one of the things that the clinic I heard about used was pushing off the um, times for the abortions. So they would show up and they would keep saying, well, we can't see you yet, we can't see you yet, and knowing that after a certain amount of weeks in the state they were in, it would be illegal for the abortion. And then telling them, well, now you can't get one. Lying to them about how far along they were in their pregnancy. Um, lying to them about the prices of it, the price of the pregnancy. Basically, finding all reasons to not give them what they came in and asked for. Yeah, you pretty much summarize exactly what fake clinics do. How common do you think these fake clinics are, especially in the state of Georgia? I think they will be more prevalent in the southern states. And Georgia has a long record in history of deceiving people about their rights. I think they will be some of everywhere, but nicely hidden as clinics, though. Yeah, so uh, the state of Georgia, they tend to outnumber real abortion clinics five to one. So for every one abortion clinic there is, there are five <laughs> other fake clinics out there. What services do you think they might be able to provide to you at these fake clinics? Um, obviously not the uh, <laughs> service of an actual abortion. I don't know. I can't see it being um, anything more than just stretching out the longevity of the pregnancy, making the mom go full term. Yeah, so nobody in the clinic is actually a licensed medical provider, so they can't give you any more care than anybody else on the street can because they're not licensed, even if you needed actual care at that time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How do you think these fake clinics are paid for? Like, who do you think is funding all these fake clinics throughout uh, um, everywhere? I'm sure there's some tax dollars somewhere coming. Uh, the rest would be private uh, religious firms that are anti-abortion. And you got the question exactly right. Uh, a lot of these fake clinics and anti-abortion centers are taxpayer funded or either they're funded by private groups, but for the most part, they are taxpayer funded. How do you actually feel about these fake clinics? What practices do you think should be implemented or what do you think should be changed to make these clinics more fair? Do you think they should be eradicated? Like, what's your take on the situation? I've never known any pregnant individual that had an abortion as an easy um, choice. The ones I've known are still going through um, their own therapy, sometimes their own guilt about it, at the decision they made that was the best for them and their family at that time. If you're going to deceive someone, I think it needs to be done away with totally. There is a choice to be made and to not let that person have all of the options because you could give them all of the information and they may decide, okay, I still want to go to full term. But to deceive them is taking away their right for choice. And um, that misguidance about being the land of the free, yeah. about being a democracy, about people having choice is automatically gone when you don't give someone all of their options, give them all of their choices, and then let them decide. Because you could just tell them up front, I'm here to try and make you go full term and let the mom go from there. That's what the Fake Clinic Suck campaign is all about. We're just trying to let people know, A, what a fake clinic is, just because so many people don't have the information about what they are. Um, and we also just want to defund them and get them shut down. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whenever there's anything fake involving someone's health, that means that the parent and the child are not getting the health care that they need at that moment. If they decide to, for whatever reason, go full term, they're not getting the health, the care, the... Uh, food, all the things that moms need for babies. Yeah. So you're not really caring about that life or that mom's life.